U.S. Capitol has been a fortress for much of U.S. President Joe Biden's first 100 days, a legacy of the January the 6th Capitol attack. Inside, there's also little evidence that Republicans and Democrats are breaking down barriers. The bill as amended is passed. After the $2 trillion American rescue plan passed in the Senate, President Biden describes the American people as united. Well, quite frankly, without the overwhelming bipartisan support of the American people, this would not have happened. Your elected officials heard you. Overwhelming public support. Every public opinion poll shows overwhelming support for this plan. And yet not a single Republican senator voted for the coronavirus relief package. Instead, Democrats pushed the bill through using something called the reconciliation process, which means they only need a simple majority of 51 votes and no Republican support whatsoever. Next on the agenda is a sprawling infrastructure bill, the American Jobs Plan. I am prepared to compromise. On Monday, President Biden invited a bipartisan group of lawmakers into the Oval Office to try to break the deadlock. But his team seems to have learned a lesson from the Obama administration, which tried and failed to work across the aisle in its early days. The Biden administration's been, you know, going full bore saying, listen, we have eight months to get anything done before we descend into the politics of congressional elections next year. If the Republicans want to work with us, great, but we're not going to let them waste our time. Almost 50 years after he won his first congressional election, Joe Biden was sworn in as U.S. president on the steps of the Capitol. In his first 100 days, he's discovered that recreating a spirit of bipartisanship under that iconic dome is easier said than done. Giles Gibson for CGTN in Washington.